I remind you of the AC rule. And AC rule, we have AX squared plus BX plus C. And what we're trying to do in the AC rule is we're just simply multiplying the A times the C. And whatever that number is, we're trying to find two numbers that multiply to uh, what A, A times C is and what their internal sum would be equal to B. Right, so let, let's, do, let's just do the AC rule because I realize that if you're doing trial and error, you really don't hear me yammer through that. You'd get it at in a one or two tries, by the way. But if you're doing the AC rule, uh, let's take a look at this one over here. I'll write it down for you. The A is 12, and the C is 2. That's not so bad, by the way. It's a pretty small number, 24. Now, what i got to do is i got to find two numbers that multiply to 24, but those same two numbers add up to 11, all right? So I'm going to say 8 and 3 is, uh, like, I'm going to say almost immediately obvious to me. And because 8 times 3 is 24, and 8 plus 3 is 11. And then what do you do? Well, you're going to break that internal term, which is 11x, into two terms, 8x and 3x. And that's all I did over here. Let me repeat this. The order in which you put them down does not matter. So what am I going to do? Factor by grouping. And you've been doing that for some time now. So what do you do over there? What comes out from the first two terms? 3x. What remains there? 4x plus 1. The last two terms, what comes out? 2. You get 4x plus 1. What's common? 4x plus 1. What remains? 3x plus 2. All right? Let's, let's do the other, the other one. Uh, the first two terms are 12, 12x squared plus 8x. What's common there is 4x. 4x times 3x plus 2. The last two terms is 3x. I want to point out, although it's not written in over here, this would be the number 1. All right? It's not written in because we don't normally write it in. So 1 pulls out. You get 1 times 3x plus 2. Then what do you do? You factor out the 3x plus 2, what remains 4x plus 1. Okay, no matter what you do in the problem, this thing is going to factor into these two linear factors, 4x plus 1, give me pen out, 4x plus 1, and 3x plus 2, including if you did this by trial and error. Now, by the way, I'm not saying you get in the first try, but you would get it. And the reason that there's very limited amount of choice on it, so 4x plus 1 and 3x plus 2. Now, when I say you'll get that, again, I'm not saying the first try, but if you multiply that out, what do you get? Well, you get 12x squared plus 8x plus 3x plus 2. Well, I certainly get the 12x squared. I certainly get the plus 2 on the end, and 8x plus 3x, 11x. You probably are noticing this over here, that the AC rule really is connected to trial and error. It really is. Okay, thank you. Oops.